Are you ready? No. Are you ready? No. <laughs> because I miss you. Good day, travelers. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're flying to India. This is my first time going to India. Now, as you can see, Alina is missing because today I'm going on a solo adventure to India for two weeks. And after that, I'm going to meet Alina back in Turkey. So uh, this morning was a super emotional departure. Bye bye for two weeks. Excuse me. Because you know, I haven't left Alina for almost a year and two months. So we've been together every single day, 365 days. So today is the first day that we're separating. So definitely quite emotional just then as I leave the apartment. <laughs> So when I say India, what comes to mind? For me, it's probably definitely the food. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a <laughs> weird sensation for me. Oh, wow. But. And secondly, it does have a notorious reputation for being not as sanitized as other countries. For example, I know that you can't drink the water from the tap or any water from the street or restaurant just because for foreigners, our stomach might not be used to the same bacteria that they have in Indians. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, yep. So a few tips that I saw online would be use the uh, bottled water, make sure that it's not opened. And also for brushing teeth, use those bottled water as well and shower I cannot avoid, so just close your mouth. This time, I don't really want to limit myself because ultimately I'm here for the cultural experience in India. I want to try as much food as I can because like I said, I love Indian food. So this is what this trip is all about, eating and enjoying. Now that I've found a seat, let's talk about entry requirement to India. So first of all, for you to go to India, you need to fill in like a visa so I applied for a tourist visa and the tourist visa from what I remember was quite lengthy I'll say it asks you about your family history like what your mother and father does quite comprehensive uh, visa application I think it took me around 15 to 20 minutes of filling so it's not too bad and the result came back almost like a day or two after so super easy but today we're transiting through Singapore so I also applied for the arrival card separately guys we made it to Singapore so we're halfway there to India and for the next four to five hours we're gonna spend at Changi International Airport also known as the best airport in the world first of all let's get some food because I'm sure in this airport there'll be amazing food let's go perks of having a powerful passport yay automated gates guess what I found here my favorite Hong Kong restaurant but they've got some bolo bows and egg tarts there as well ah oh, I'm hungry <laughs> what should I get today so many options you've got the baked rice pot chop yeah, Hong Kong beef curry, but we're going to India, so we're going to have a lot of curry. I'm not going to add that. Exo sauce, brown noodle, that looks good too. Oh yeah, look at that. It's still boiling hot, sizzling hot. Actually, don't touch this because it's going to be super hot. But look at all that mozzarella cheese melting on the top. Just looks so delicious. All right, and our second dish arrived. This is the bolo bao with butter. So you meant to put a slice of butter inside the bun and eat it together. It is so tasty. <sighs> I miss Alina already. Usually we share this dish together. This is her favorite dish as well. Another thing is that you can't say you've been to Singapore International Airport without visiting the dual waterfall here. And actually, the reason why Singapore Airport is the best in the world is also because of the construction of dual, which cost 1.3 billion dollars, US dollars I'm talking about, to build the whole thing. And that's why it looks so grand, with all the beautiful. This is also the largest indoor waterfall in the world. And you can see the government really spent a lot of money and effort into making this happening. I've got good news and bad news for you guys so good news is that we made it through the gates made it through immigration just then check-in process was a success the bad news however was that check-in process took way too long just then they were a bit concerned about my visa because it actually expired today so big tip for you guys who are going to India don't apply the visa too early like me one month in advance try to apply maybe around two to three weeks before because the visa will expire exactly one month when you submit your application so in my case it will be expiring today uh, by the end of today so I have to make it past Indian immigration before the end of today so hopefully my flight lands at 10 o'clock and immediately I could go to immigration without any delays that'll be a 
fantastic. And the second issue just then, they were asking for Omer ticket. So I did spend some time to book my next flight, which is flying out to Turkey from Mumbai. Other than that, I think entry to India these days is a lot easier compared to before when I tried to fly to India during COVID, it was all oh, super complicated. Now that I've arrived again, we'll see you guys on the other side. If everything goes well, see you guys in Delhi. Guess what? We've successfully made it through the gates of immigration here in India. So welcome to the land of spice, rich culture and history and also wonderful people. So just then immigration was actually pretty intense I would say because I had to run all the way to immigration with 20 minutes left until my visa expired. But luckily the guy there was super lenient, super nice and he was just talking to me about the trip, the plan. He was helping me to plan my itinerary to be honest just then immigration. He, he was probably the nicest immigration guy I've ever met. Yeah, can't believe it. I'm here in India. So this right here is my first Indian subscriber. <laughs> Good seeing you, bro. Thank you. Enjoy. Stick food of India. <laughs> All right. And to share food. Okay. Bye. All right. See ya. The thing about being a foreigner in India is that it's quite interesting because you get a lot of attention and everyone just staring at you, like literally staring at you. I don't mind it. I guess it's kind of it's interesting. I would say my second and third Indian subscribers for today. High five. High five. <laughs> High five. I think Indian people are so friendly oh, yeah. so far. What do you like to drink? Drink? Yeah. I'm okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just got off the flight. How are you? What's good, man? <laughs> Whoa, look at that screen, man. Yeah, man. You guys remember him when I have like around 100 or 200 subscribers. And then we went to Indonesia and I met this guy. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> how is it, how's it going in uh, Hindi? In casual terms, when you talk to friends, you usually say kya chal rai. Kya chal. Kya. Kya. Chal. Ka chal. Raha. Kya chal rahal. Raha hai. Raha hai. Kya chal raha hai. Yes. And this is Jay. Hey guys, welcome back to Justin's YouTube channel. <laughs> and we're back to doing another introduction, just like we did in Bali. Yeah, you guys will see soon if you haven't already. So make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, all right? Ooh, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> the call to action. <laughs> this guy knows how to YouTube because he's also a content creator. He's an excellent photographer, so check out his Instagram page as well. Thank you guys. And it will be linked up there. <laughs> So we have arrived the home for the next two nights, I believe. Two or three nights, two nights, I think. This is Jay's house. It's like a village, would you say it's like a village? Yeah. And you've got your own uh, house. It's pretty well managed as well. You've got an Indian flag hanging around here. Okay. Ooh, so spacious. All right, so I think now it's really late at night and I think everyone's sleeping as well. So maybe we'll continue the vlog tomorrow when everything is nice and bright. We'll show you guys the rooms. Hi everybody, welcome to day two here in India. Actually, officially, day one. But uh, this is our room, the room that I stayed in last night. So at the moment, it's a little bit messy because we just woke up, but basically this is Jay's room and it's nice and cozy. You said there's a balcony here, right? That's the bathroom, a washing area. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Wow, cool. Got some extra storage. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the next side of the house. Okay. Wow, I've got a garden view. Reminds me of the villas in uh, in Bali, looking at the gardens. Yeah, it's nice and cozy. And... Oh, I've got a... Whoa, I've got a bath jet as well. That's awesome. It's like its own jacuzzi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next room. This one? Yeah. Okay, but your sister's not in town, eh? No. Hmm. This reminds me of, um, recently there's a Netflix TV show, yeah. Indian Girl, and this reminds me of her room. 
Oh, we've got the yeah. mirror. Yep, there we go. Need the big mirror. Man, too, actually. And we've got the shower space. It's pretty spacious, too. Okay, next. So, I forgot to mention this house, it's three story high. Oh, uh, it's like a whole gym area. This is a room for us, so nice. Yeah. Nice, okay. This is like the store supply where we buy everything in bulk and keep it yep. for a long time. Mm, cool. This is the meditation room actually. Meditation room. Yeah, that's what we call it. Yeah. But it's also a guest room. Ah, nice. And this. Wow, you've got another balcony here. Oh, that's the same yeah, view yeah. as your parents' yeah. room. Oof. But I can feel the heat of India inside this room. That's what happens when you don't turn the AC on. Not every day do I see a house with a rooftop, especially in Australia. Cool. Oh, I've got another stairs. Yeah, this is where the family lives. Family? Family of the person working here. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is good weather, to be honest. Yeah. Really good weather. I like how close the buildings are. It felt yeah. like a sense of community. And now to the ground floor, where basically the living room okay, is. Meet yeah. My Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Daddy. So it's uh, Jai's grandmother. Mm -hmm. And by tapping my head, basically it's <laughs> a form of blessing giving to yeah. us. I like that. Daddy. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Shukriya. I think early on in Bali, he told me that he used to touch his parents, grandparents' yeah. feet. And that's a way of you passing the blessing to them. Yeah, that's the way of respecting them. Yep. Of showing respect mm -hmm. and asking for their blessing. Ah, okay. And then just then when they tap on your head, that means they're giving the blessing to yeah. you. Yeah. Yep. Well, and let's look at Pahaji. So that's how it looks. Wow, it looks like paella actually. So it has potato in it, tomatoes, peas. Very healthy. And when you come down to the bottom of the staircase, then this is what you'll find. A whole room full of gym equipment. Yeah, it's basically like a gym, my goodness. Yeah. Usually that's like what you get at a, uh, at a hotel. <laughs> So this dish right here is gonna be our breakfast today. It's called bahaji, and inside there are a few ingredients: potato, tomato, and peas. And the water you see, it's just a puree, basically, yeah. um, so that it doesn't make the whole mixture too dry. So from here, it does smell really nice because of the Indian spices, and they've got some chopped onion as well, and the green chutney, which is something that I haven't tried before. It's uh, mint inside, right? There's the green uh, mango, green. Chili as well. Yep. And there's tomato as well in this one actually. Okay. So it's going to be a really tangy and nice to have along with. Mm. So you're going to teach me how to eat it, alright? Yeah, of course. Right? Just then I was telling Jay that I want lassi here in India and uh, they made one for me. So this is my first time trying that uh, lassi that is not mango flavored. Normally, uh, lassi is salted. Uh -huh. It is not mango flavored at all. Yep, that's more like a fusion. That's like a fusion. Yeah. Gotcha. Another day, another adventure. So India is famous for its rich historical culture. So today we'll be going to a few historical sites and we'll seeing a few beautiful architectures around Delhi. So uh, today it's a super hot day. So luckily we've got a car and we can travel around with more comfort. Let's go. So because today it's our first day out, so I just want to quickly give you guys some observations that I see on the streets here in Delhi. I think in general, transportation system here in Delhi is pretty convenient, especially with a variety of options. You've got buses there, you've got some what you call auto, uh, which is basically tricycle in the Philippines or tuk-tuk in Thailand, and you've got rickshaw drivers on a bicycle. They also have bikes here as well, and obviously many people traveling to work by motorbikes and yeah just a lot of cars in general i think jai told me that um in india the most common type of transportation it's car there are lots of cars that's why you can see the traffic is very congested all the time and actually on top of us right here is the railway the metro system so there are also uh, metro stations all around delhi so originally we're going to take the metro 
uh, to the destination today, but it's just way too hot under this weather. Yeah. So the Saru uh, travel car will be more comfy. This whole underground tunnel is decorated with 3D paintings all around. And apparently these are all painted the last six to eight months, specifically for the G20 meeting. So you can see what a G20 meeting can do as in, uh, to a city. Yeah. yeah, it looks really beautiful, the designs. So the first destination today, we're going to Humayun's tomb, which is a very historical site here in Delhi and specifically. You just stand for entrance, Jai, because he's a local, he paid 40 Indonesian, wait, you're not Indonesian, Indian rupees. <laughs> but for me, because as a foreigner, I had to pay 600 Indian rupees. Yeah, there's a huge price difference between foreigners and uh, locals here, but I think overall, it's not too bad coming from a foreigner perspective. Yeah. Okay. But when you get to see prices for the local people, then maybe it's yeah. pretty different. <laughs> yep. Standing behind me here is the Humayun's tomb and it's actually built around the 1500s, so 1572 to be exact, by its willow. Basically, it's an infrastructure with white domes at the top with white marbles and the whole building is made with red sandstones. You guys don't know who Humayun is, he's the emperor of the Mughal, Jing Mughal dynasty. He's actually the great grandfather of the famous guy, Shan Jahan, and who later actually inspired the building of Taj Mahal. So this is actually one of the early infrastructure of the Mughal dynasty. Another thing I noticed here in Indian architecture is these, they use the red sandstone to build these kind of windows and he has got these tiny holes to allow air flows. Hey, <laughs> hello, hello. To allow the air to flow in so it keeps the cold air inside the tomb but it doesn't let the hot air to go inside. Every other Indian architecture, this one has a grand entrance. I always feel like the archways in Indian architectures are very welcoming. This is a wholesome moment when Jay took some photos of the kids in Maya's tomb. <laughs> Next destination we are here to eat, which is what I'm looking forward to most this trip on India. This is Jay's dad. Jai had to work so his father took over. This day we are eating at Saravana Bhavan, which is famous for their dosa. South Indian food. Yeah, South Indian food. So we're here in North India, but we're trying South Indian food because I want to get an all around experience. So let's go in. This is one of the most famous places here in Delhi. Loki, super excited. First time in the Indian restaurant. You've got some like bakeries going on on that side. Super interesting. Indian decorations. <laughs> I'm just so excited at the moment. Oh wow. I was thinking whether there's a menu or not, but it turns out it's just a bunch of phone numbers, I think. Don't you worry, I can finish everything today. <laughs> okay. Let's have a bet. Yeah, let's have a bet. Okay. I think I really like Indian food and from what I'm looking all around, the decorations are so different to other cuisines. The other Indian food I had in Western countries like in Australia and Hong Kong are so different to what I'm looking at right now. So I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Wow, that's a dosa. This is dosa? Yep. This is idli? Italy. Yes, Italy. This is Rava Kesi, this is uh, free desert. These are the chutney sauces you're seeing. Italy. Italy. What is it made of? Rice. Steamed oh, rice. Close okay. Rice. Right. Okay, cool. All right, let's give it a shot. First time trying chit chitney. Italy. 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 Oh. And this is coconut. Oh, yeah, I can taste it. In South India, there are so many coconut trees. A lot of So they use in every dish coconut. So this one, next one. Okay. Like this. Looks like a mashed potato. Thing. Yes, yes, yes. But this is not potato, this is the pulses. 
and this this is sambar you can see. this is like soup something like this you can say i like this one this is sambar yes i like this is sambar sambar this is main dish this is main serving with every dish whatever we will eat you will get along with this sambar yes sambar so this sweet dish oh I like that one. So this, this is very fun. Nice. That is very tasty. And the main South Indian is this is dosa. Dosa. Oh. The, fill, the filling inside is the potato. So inside I've got some filling out, as well. Out, outside this is some pancake from like rice. We take little bit of and along with this this sauce. Okay. This sauce. The coconut. More, 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 more. More. Yes. And now. Put a mouth well. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you've done it right. Mm. Here. This is the correct way of eating. Mm. That is tasty. The combination of it. Exactly. This is the yep. combination. Mm. I learned something new. So, how we distinguish North Indians and South Indians? Sometimes could be because of their facial color. So, South Indians could be dark in color, but also. Of this special markings here. From what I saw, South Indians usually their markings. Wait, 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 ma'am. Can I film you here? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay. See, see on the forehead. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's like a South dot. Indian. This is typical South Indian. Okay. You will find so, it only in South Indian. Ah, uh, yep. So they've got a special marking on their forehead like that. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Little, little. In the Ba ba da da da. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so strong. Oh, spicy too. Ah, yes. South India, lots of spicy. Yeah, right. North Indians, usually they eat wheat dishes, whereas South India, they use rice. That's yes. because in South India, it rains more. And for them to grow rice, it requires more rainwater. Whereas in the North, it doesn't rain as much. That's why they use wheat most of the time. Exactly. Lemon yes. rice. Yes, yes. Looks good. Very tasty, very healthy. Very healthy for stomach. Tasty. It's very, sour, but yes. it um it activates your palate. So this is a pump. A pump. This looks like a pancake actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You are right. Again, These are two different yes, curries already. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hmm. I think I like the last one better. Yeah, this one much better. Yeah, the last one was better than yes. the second one. Some people eat with one dish at one time, but they'll take longer time. Sometimes we mix all the dishes also. Now this is red chili, hot chili. I've separated it. So you get a combination, bit of everything. <laughs> and then you eat with hands. Eating curry with hands. Yes, time. yes, yes. It's amazing. We mix it with hands. Oh. You leave the spoon now. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's such a, <laughs> such a weird sensation for me. So now you are feeling the food, right? Your stomach is feeling the food. When you mix, when you are mixing it, your stomach is getting ready. This is what we do. This is usually the kind of steps I use to marinate my meat. Um, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, marinate. Like, like that, like that. Mm. Mm. I like it. Makes a curry. This is proper South Indian. Mm. So they eat with hands. Yes, or always, everyone. Always. All always. Indians eat with hands. Mm. I love Indian curry. So because we're in India and there's a diverse religion here in Delhi, so today the next stop we are Gurdwara Bangla Sahib, which is so Gurdwara basically means door and also it's a type of place worship for the people who Sikh religion. Silk. Sikh. It's yeah. called silk religion. I think it's even my first time hearing about this religion as well. So the religion of silk is that you can see many people on their head. They have what is this called again? The tur turban. 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 Which is basically the the thing that wrap around their head. It's got a turban. Yes, it's like he's and doing. it's how it identifies silk people. Whosoever goes inside the temple, you'll find they'll have to cover their head. Oh. Okay. Either we have to carry from our home or from there, see, gotcha. all people are getting. This patka we call. We have to cover our heads. Everyone, each and everyone. Uh, see, those people guarding there, yeah. they will never allow you to go inside without covering it. See. And also, I like the Gudwara. 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 It's uh, very grand. You can see very that gold inside, dome. Inside very peaceful. It looks really beautiful. And I see that people step on this. Uh, Water to wash their feet. Why under the photography car allowed? You got shoes? We just then gave our shoes to the shoes collector because he cannot go in with shoes. And also now we're in barefoot, we took our, our socks as well. He's saying uh, we can keep the cameras inside, may not be allowed to shoot. We have to wash our hands and feet first. Oh, okay. 
this is definitely a whole new cultural experience for me. Nothing like this before, especially this religion of silk is something very new to me. See, this is what I was telling you. Everyone has to cover. Which color would you like? Uh, any color. The red one. Okay. He will, he will help oh, you. Thank you, you. You want to record me? Oh, yes, you? please. Yes, please. On, on. Shukri, on. Uh, here. No one can go inside without covering the head. Yeah. A turban. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this is very interesting. <laughs> so that when we enter the temple, our okay. feet are, you know? Yep. Just okay. Come, come. Camera, where is the camera? Take a photo. 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 He's saying maybe we'll ask and can take, perhaps can take some pictures. Okay. Can yep. Keep it low first. This music, it's also silk music. Exactly. Is it some, yep. Okay. Photo will be Okay. No. Okay. Honestly, the silk, this architecture, it's really beautiful, especially when you use all these white marbles with golden dome tops. This is a very special place. A very special place. I'll tell you. Guru Kalanga. Uh, here food is served to each and every person without without any cost. Ah. Okay. All people, everyone. This is very famous all over the world. Yeah. You go to any Gurdwara, you'll find langar. Yeah. And you can sit there, eat food. It's very... called langar. Yes. Food yeah. for everyone, each and everyone. Mm. No money. Yeah. You never charge a single rupee. That's an act of kindness yes, yes, of yes. this religion. Yes, yes. Silk. It's honestly really interesting coming to India and hearing all these religions that I've never heard of, even in my own culture. Exactly. So it's definitely an eye opener for me. Yeah, YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I want to see the langa inside. Langa? Yeah, film, film the langa. Come, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. come, come. So basically in this canteen, regardless of religion, regardless of identity, they, they will serve you food no matter what. See, it's completely these free are pulses, big pulses. They'll serve to you. This is very famous. Oh. In langa, this is compulsory everywhere. In langa? Yes, compulsory. everywhere. All over the world, in every Gurdwara, you'll find this. See the style, how they take the roti. They, see, they, they'll do like this, everyone. Yeah. It is compulsory. It is compulsory to take like this. Uh, with folded hands. It doesn't mean like showing your gratitude with gratitude, both hands. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Both right. hands. We are going to kitchen. I'll go to kitchen. Yes. Very nice. All these are volunteers. Ah, very nice. This is close time, otherwise you can see okay. so many machines. Wow. Roti making machines. See ladies, see ladies making rotis. All these are service. They are doing service. Wow. <coughs> they are not employees or workers. They are normal people. They come home. Every come from home every day. This is where the magic happens. Yes, After yes, they make yes, the doll yes, here, yes, yes. then See, they put all, all, all the men, they, they are worshipping. Wow. Like this. See. Yeah. That's awesome. And this will go. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. As you see, they're running the machine here. So this is a much faster process compared to the ones over there. But they are just doing a service because it feels like it, it's uh, more hurtful, is it? Exactly. Yeah. The silk culture. Mind blowing. Wow. So right now we're trying to get permission from someone in order for us to get inside to film what it's like, I guess like worshipping inside an environment like this. So uh, we tried to ask different person for permission, but they keep asking to ask other people for permission. So other place we have other places. Yes. So it will be time consuming to go to Shaheed is Martyr Day. They are religious leader. Okay. They are Martyr Day. So they, they are more of a shock. Yes, yes, yes. Sadness, due to sadness. Okay. He was martyred on this day. All they are wearing black yeah. because he was martyred on this day. Okay. Martyred. He was killed. Oh, okay. Murdered. Who, who was killed? Their leader, religious Their leader. leader. Oh, when when uh, when were they killed? When was he yeah, killed? Many, many, many centuries back. Many oh, centuries back. okay, right. So in the backdrop here, this is Connaught's place, one of the most famous shopping paradise for tourists mostly. You can see also the young people would come here to shop because just a huge variety of different shops, the modern and also the small brands, like big brands, like I don't know, just a unique clothes was there as well. So you can see all kinds of shopping options here. But today we're not here to do shopping, we're here to try something that's very special. So Stay tuned. Very famous milkshake of Delhi. Okay. Do come to this place. Take Does it have a name or something? Yes, yes, Caventus. 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 Yes. Okay, all right. And now taste is going to love Let's it. Let's give it a try. No, no, not from so, just from. Take it. Just this? Yes. Okay. Mm. Super amazing. Yeah, that's nice. What a flavor is that you would recommend normally? 
We are three famous. Mm -hmm. Butter squash, vanilla, strawberry. Yeah. You like to taste one? We can drink half half. If you like it a no, lot. No, it's okay. I think this one is enough for me for now. Okay. Yeah. So the next interesting thing that we're trying today, the famous fire pan. Pan, pan, pan. Kam kam mitha kam kam ekdom. Jada li. Thoda, 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 thoda. Thoda, thoda. These are sweets. Okay. Made from rose leaves. Okay. These are rose leaves. Some ice will go into to cool it down later. Uh -huh. I said this is fine. Is the is the ice fresh? Yes, yes, yes. You still a delegate or a case specially? G20. Come on, now this is this okay. my time for you. In this important moment, when he shoved the fire pan into my mouth, I forgot to press record. <laughs> <laughs> एक क्या गुंडी खिलाओ इस पीछे लाऊं क्या खिलाऊं बोलो। I'm not too much big of a fan just because गुंडी, of the herbs. गुंडी खिलाओ। And also I guess my confidence is not there yet because I saw the eyes there and also I saw the water that they use. I'm not too sure. Even though I'm brave, I want to try, but because we have come, few come, weeks come, of back schedule, I just don't feel safe to eat this. And also the taste is just so strong with the the fire and everything. It's just not for me, I think. This is another very special pan, but take two. Oh, the I don't know what's inside. The yes, take take both. Okay, what's inside here? Mm. Just keep inside you. Do not eat. Just like chewing gum, or keep it on the side of your cheek. Sometimes chew, then keep. You have to taste the flavor. Just keep on your left of your cheek. You know. Wow, wow. This is not for me, I think. Okay. Not but, for me. But <laughs> not used to this. Let, let me change your flavor. This dhel puri lewa. Abhi lagse dho bhot kam masala hi. Dhel puri, very famous dish. Dhel puri. Okay. I have asked him to make less spicy. Very, I just have one spoon. Yes, one one spoon. And you will ask for more then. Take more, take more, take more. Take, take, take full. That's enough for me. This is very tasty. Take this. Take, take, take from this. I think I'm have enough already. Just, just yeah. this one. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'll okay. just have small one. I guess because maybe I'm not a fan of coriander, so okay. that's why. Oh. Yeah, that's why. Okay, you're not fan of coriander. Yeah. <laughs> So we're back at home now. It's dinner time, and for dinner tonight, I really want to get something special, which is butter chicken. And here, Jay actually recommended a place It's around five minutes away drive from the hometown. And uh, let's go in and check it out. So from the outskirts, by the looks of it, it kind of feels like fast food where you order counter and you get a seat here. Apparently, what we're ordering here today is the jawama and also the ch butter chicken here. That apparently tastes really good. So I do have a few places of butter chicken that I wanted to try, but it's not in this area. But Jai told me this place is equivalent to the other place I want to try, just as good. Hey guys, welcome back to Justin's YouTube channel. So today we are at Nazim, yeah. as he already told you. And we're having the first butter chicken for Justin on this trip to India. So this is how the butter chicken looks. We have a leg piece and we have a breast piece. So and it's compulsory if you don't see butter on butter chicken, don't eat the butter chicken. <laughs> so make sure there's butter. Make sure you mix it well. And this is the taka tuck roll. It has chicken stuffing inside and it's made out of. It's wrapped around uh, Indian bread. Indian ro we call it roti. It's wrapped around roti, and this is khamiri roti. This is also an Indian bread, thick but soft, and it's really soft. And you usually eat it with butter chicken, anything you want, but it's really soft and tasty. And now we're going to get Justin to try all of it. So this is the coriander chutney you saw in the vlog earlier. I guess because maybe I'm not a fan of coriander. In which we were eating pav bhaji. So it's time to dig in. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> it's so tasty. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's crispy. It's crispy and it's wow. soft as well. You can use the spoon to get the chicken yep. and the gravy. Always tear a piece out of the bread first. Okay. You tear a piece. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's go. It's more sour here, the butter chicken. Usually, I think the Western taste is usually very smooth mm. and sweeter as well. Yeah. And also, maybe sometimes they have some ketchup inside as well. This Could one's be. a real deal. So they probably use sauces, different sauces, to make the butter chicken. But in India, it's all spice. That's what I like. Yeah. It's, How um, do you like the bread? Oh, it's so good, so yeah. soft. It's kamili. Kamili, ah, yes. Oh, yeah, kamili, yeah, the one you told me. Yeah. 
India is such an exciting place. In a short span of a day, I've already experienced the ultimate Indian hospitality from Jay's family. Trying authentic Indian food and also witness firsthand how different religion can coexist in harmony in one place. Coming up in the next episode, I'll be taking you Delhi's busiest street, Chutney Chowk, to show you my experience firsthand as a foreigner. Seeing day in the life of locals, trying some of Indian's favorite delicacies. So don't forget to subscribe now and hit the bell button to tune in for the next episode.